Hey guys, so this is our number sense for today. I know how popular Baby Yoda is right now. So I thought this would be a perfect um, number problem for you, or number sense problem for you. I know that I probably don't know all the technical Star Wars terms for Baby Yoda, but I'm gonna try my best. So I'm just gonna kind of go over what how I would do this. And like I said before, I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see, I'm gonna write on it. Maybe I'm gonna make it bigger. Oh my gosh. Okay, so over here I have the um, the equal signs. So I'm calling this little guy right here, baby standing Yoda. Um, this one, the soldier, and this one, a Yoda in a cradle. I am sure that there's probably a better term for it, but that's just what I'm gonna start with. So I know some of you don't particularly like doing problems like this in class, but I think that um, you are very capable of doing them. So I'm just gonna show you how I might start off doing this problem if I was you. So I might look at, um, this problem first, because I see that I have three of the same baby Yoda, and I know that um, standing Yoda, standing Yoda, and standing Yoda is the same as 24. So that would be something times three equals 24. So I know that if I wanted to solve this problem for this unknown part right here, then I'm gonna have to change this into a division problem. And I know that you guys are all super excited about doing division. So I would start with 24, dividing it into um, groups of three. And I'd be thinking about numbers that I know that go into 24. I know four goes into 24, but that, that wouldn't equal, four times three isn't 24. I know six goes into 24, but I know six times three is 18. Um, and then I know that eight goes into 24 and eight times three is 24. So I would put an eight here. And so that means that our standing Yodas are all eight. So then I can come here and plug this in. Um, I might change this color for the next part. So then I might move on to this one. And now I know I could do 18 take away the eight, so that gives me 10 left. So now I could find the standing soldier by dividing that 10 by the number of standing soldiers there and determine what that is. And then you could just keep going. Um, I encourage you when you're doing solving for the rest of them that you're really paying attention to the symbols because there is a subtraction symbol here as well as a multiplication symbol here. So they're not all addition and subtraction problems. There is some um, of all the different types of problem types. So um, that's all I have for number sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions.